Stand by for reintegration. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Vance here. And welcome to a flight test video today. I've actually been flying this quite a bit lately. I've been doing a bit of a Vandal Swarm and actually it is really good. We'll talk about how good it is actually when it comes to the fighting bit at the end of the video. But today we're taking a look at the Aurora MR. Now there is a CL, a LN, and an LX. This is sort of, an, sort of an intermediate. It's got weapon loadout, it's got cargo. A bit of a starter ship you could say. Let me tell you, for a fixed mounted ship, it is absolutely brilliant guys. I've really enjoyed it. But first of all, Let's take a look out on the exterior and see what we have. Can't really see much from there. You can't actually see the engines neither. I don't know if you can actually see. Can you see the engines? You can just about, can't you? Let's try another, another view. Can't see the weapons. The weapons are actually mounted on the bottom. Now, although you will be doing sort of cargo runs in this, and, and as well as doing cargo runs, you've got this sort of the firepower and the guns actually defend yourself. One thing that we probably need to start, well, I, I'm actually going to factor into my videos at some point, is how long does it actually take you to get out the ship when there's an emergency? Like, you're going to blow up. And you'll see what I mean. What I've found is with some of these smaller ships, although some of them have really good firepower, is sometimes you need to get out quickly. This one is not particularly fast. You'll see what I mean, because you obviously got to get out of the seat. So the animations obviously all look great, but then you sort of got to get out of the seat and you obviously got to get out the door as well. Okay, let's take a look on the outside. Now you can actually see them weapons there. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Now it actually picks up a container. There's a container that actually hooks on the back here. See these little hooks here? There's one little hook there. Actually, we can see the little pin as well there. And then down this way, you've got a sort of a more obvious sort of looking hook. But it basically picks up a container and drops a container. And I'm just going to fly around here. It'd be interesting to see if they actually update this because we know they've been doing a lot more work on the container system. Let's move around this side. You actually can see something quite similar to the sort of constellation there with these sort of flaps. I don't know if you can see these here, these flaps on the wings that open up and there's like fans inside for planet, planetary side landing as well. Now the viewing angles on this are absolutely brilliant, there's no doubt about it. But like I said, the only sort of downside I really see on this, and, and you, with all fairness, is actually the downside on any ship where you've got to basically get out a seat and then warp somewhere, is the time to get out the ship. And that's only the, the only downside I see really. Now inside you've got your HUDs and displays to the uh, left and right of you here. I actually prefer them there, they're pretty good. They're not that restricting. Could they be a little bit more transparent so you could see a little bit more possibility? I prefer probably transparent displays. I don't know what you guys think, but having it in the way a little bit, just, uh, just slightly. Good viewing angles upwards, so you've got, you haven't, it's not really, I wouldn't say it's restricted at all. Now this ship, for me, is probably one of the easiest ships to fly, no doubt. Now let's sort of jump into some Vandal Swarm. It's a lot easier to track targets in this ship. So here we are guys. Now I was incredibly shocked when I tried this. I, I've, I've tried, I think the last time I tried it was probably in 1.3. The combination of the slower maneuverability, pretty good guns actually, they've got a really good fire rate. One of the things as well that is absolutely awesome with this is the cooldown of the weapons. You can pretty much hold your finger down all the time. What would be the best starter ship out there? It's definitely the Aurora series. It's not necessarily because it has all the bells and whistles as such. Purely for the basis that it's very, very sort of user friendly. If you're just joining the game and you just want to get started and try something out, you find simulations a little bit hard like this. And it's not a full simulation, it's still an arcadey sort of game, isn't it? It's forgiving. You can come in with this and have a good time. Even for me, I'm the worst person for actually using fixed mounts guns. There's no doubt about it. I do own the M50. I can't aim that thing, guys. It's just a logistical nightmare for me. I mean, I just can't track the targets. And what I found with this is it did sort of teach me something, actually, sort of going back and flying the ship. And it, it, it sort of made me realize that actually with the fixed mounts faster ships I've been using, I've blatantly been overcooking the targets and flying too fast and flying past the target. And what I noticed in this round is because there's sort of the reduction in speed because I couldn't go any faster, I found myself sort of automatically tracking the targets and following the targets and just tearing them apart. Because it does move slower, you can make smaller adjustments on your target because obviously the movement speed's lower. Now you could argue and say actually you could go into the settings and adjust your sensitivity down on the mouse controls. 
But that sort of defeats the object of having the manoeuvrability. I think you've just got to get a better player. And I'll, I'll put my hands up to say that I'm definitely not a good M50 uh, pilot. Today, anyway, it's about the Aurora. And I would highly recommend it for someone that is entering into the game. Totally new, hasn't tried it before. It's a good little starter ship. There's a few in the lineup. There is other ones there you can go with a slightly better weapon loadout. It's good fun to fly. You can kill the targets, no problem. And it's a good stepping stone for you to join in on the game and actually get used to flying a ship that is competent and has fixed weapons. You can swap these out later on your model mount for gimbal mounts by reducing the size if you really want to. Now the other benefit of obviously these smaller ships as well, there's going to be a lower IR energy output signature for these smaller ships. Obviously the cargo capacity is a lot lighter. I mean this one carries around about... 13. I mean, the heaviest one in the Aurora series carries 23, so it's not an incredible difference. I know that some of you guys out there are really not interested in the combat side of it. I would suggest that you learn to defend yourself. If you've got a ship with weapons, you need to know how to use them, and, and you want to be able to defend yourself, and this is a really good ship. This is a very, very good starting point to get you introduced into the game. I've really enjoyed it, and actually, do you know what? It's taught me a few things as well. If you haven't backed Star Citizen yet, or you don't have a game package or ship, guys, I've left a referral code below in the description there, which will give you some currency when you sign up. And also keep in mind, actually, if you just go and use that referral code now, you actually get that cash, and you can secure your in-game name for, I know I'm going to say it, guys, a year, in the t a year down the line. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.